friends, the Star Thrifter, and I got a thrift haul to share with you today. I got two really great items that I wanted to share with you. Um, if you've not watched any of my other videos before, I sell full time. I sell on eBay and I sell on Poshmark. And I have found over the years that I learned the most by other um, resellers that post the videos with the brands and the styles. And um, it just seems like it's a really great benefit. Anyhow, we'll get right on to it. Um, this first item, I wasn't sure if I was going to pick this up because it's the Athleta. And I heard maybe you should only pick up the last few years style. But um, I needed um, inventory. And in that the one place where I shop, um, the one color tag that's a dollar, you have to get packs of five. And I had to make sure I had enough for the packs of five. And um, it's just a cute little t-shirt. Otherwise, I kind of really been slowing up on Athleta unless it's, you know, kind of newer. And then uh, the leggings that are more like the boot cutter flare, those are popular. I almost didn't get this. Actually, I passed it up on Friday. I picked it up on Saturday. Same thing, to make enough inventory or enough for the five or five. It's an anthropology, and it's um, Vanessa, uh, Virginia, and I hardly ever pick up the anthropology line unless it's something uh, specific. Used to be really great, but this, I did look it up at the store. It did all right, but it's very heavily embroidered, and um, hopefully, you know, it will sell. And uh, But I have some really great pieces here, but there's a few, you know, more like these, the bread and butter stuff. I've been trying to pick up more of the quicker sell through Rate If You've Been Watching Any of My Videos. However, some still bread and butter. This is a great find. It's soft surroundings, extra large, and it's brand new with tags, black maxi dress. This will be a really great uh, thing to list. And um, they have a style number on their material tag, and you can look that up and uh, get some keywords to use. This I wasn't sure. I did look it up in the store, and it was all right. I went ahead and paid $4.99. It's Oasis, and I usually don't pick this brand up. But this was new with tags. It's a little larger size. I think it's a 14. And it's it's the false leather. That's how come I went ahead and picked this up. It's actually really soft and stretchy. But I don't know. Hopefully that'll be all right and sell. These are a pair of Talbots. And they're a size 2. And um, yeah. And they are 100% wool pants. Now, that's kind of a tiny size to pick up, and I think mean, they're cuffed. I kind of been slacking off on what I pick up in Talbots unless it's plus size, but I figured maybe with winter coming, hopefully that'll, you know, sell. This was a great find. This is brand new with tags, 100% cashmere, J. Crew, and it's that gold color with, fall, you know, winter coming up and all that. This will be a great um, piece to pick up. But this is, uh, the, if you're not familiar, J. Crew. this is a great piece. It's J. Crew and it's brand new with tags. And um, it is 100% cashmere. Probably won't be able to see that. But if you're not familiar, J. Crew has a tiny little tag a lot of times underneath, or it might be printed on the bottom of the material tag. And it'll have like the year and the style number. And um, it's great to look up the style numbers but this is that gold color and I think that that will be a really great thing to pick up I paid almost ten dollars for this and I usually do not pay that much um you know for the thrifted items but the fact that it was 100% cashmere new with tags and that color and J. Crew, I kind of particular on what I pick up on that this is a pretty nice brand um but it doesn't sell very quickly um this is um Parsley and Sage, I think on one of my other videos, I said Paisley and Sage, but it's Parsley and Sage. And I usually, I think I just sold, um, I think it was a plus size top of this brand. I think it, it sold. But anyways, this is brand new with tags and it's a dress. They usually have really neat patterns, either really bright or real boho or very different looking things. I think it's actually a really cool design uh, brand. You know, their designs are neat. But with the new with tags, I went ahead and got that. And this I picked up. I don't know if this will sell. Peter Millar used to be a really great brand, especially with men's. And, um, but it seems like lately I haven't been able to sell that brand hardly at all. That and Foot Joy both seem to kind of take, you know, went down. But anyways, this I got because I love this jacket. It's a large, way too big for me, but I might keep it anyways because I love the color. And, um, it's that stretchy, you know, material, but... 
the colors. Isn't that beautiful? I may have to keep it. And uh, anyhow, I figured, you know, either way on that one there. I got two, you know, coming up that are really, really great pieces. I was, you know, happy to get them. This I picked up because it was new with tags. It's Venus. And I used to pick up Venus, but not anymore. But new with tags, it is a, I don't remember what the size is on this. But it's, you know, it's an all right size and it's black. Now, it does look like it's supposed to have a belt. And it doesn't have a belt. But it's, it is the high neck and hopefully that will sell. I don't know. It's kind of heavy too and it's going to have to go priorities only thing. Um, which is, that's kind of a bummer. Um, we got here. This, this is a Nike. And it, this is a Nike Pro. And I find that the mock necks, now this is more like a turtleneck or a cowl neck. It's a little different. But the mock necks of this stretchy material, um, I, they seem to sell for me. You know, maybe 15 20 but this, um, I'll have to look up. It's actually got a really nice, kind of more like a fleece lining. This is Torrid, and I probably shouldn't have got it, but same thing it might have been to be making up. And I, But it is a Torrid 3, but this isn't going to sell for a lot. Torrid has really cute styles, but they don't sell for a lot. And uh, because they're not that expensive to begin with, and they the site, you know, runs sales a lot. But a little tank top. I don't know. If you're not familiar um, with, with the sizing on that, it says Torrid 3. That means it's a 3X. I don't pick up the double zero of the zeros anymore unless it's something really spectacular. This is a really great brand, and it is expensive. I have a couple blazers that's really been sitting. I think I still have both of them, but they are a blazer, and you know blazers sometimes are not the easiest things to sell. Blazer, like jacket, um, like suit jacket, but it's just a jacket. But I had a dress one time and it sold right away. And I don't know, it might have been newer tags, but Norma Kamali. And but with this is a wrap dress. And wrap dresses do sell. <laughs> Even in some brands that aren't super spectacular. This actually, I think this is a 2XL. I think this could be a really great piece. I gotta do comps on that. <laughs> Harley Davidson sweatshirt and um, some pieces sell quicker than others. Some of it can kind of sit, but it's a women's. I'll have to do comps on that. This is a, um, a sports dress and it's Priana and hopefully that will sell. It does have the shelf bra or, you know, built in bra and I'll use that, you know, part of the title. It's actually really soft. Hopefully that will sell. It's, you know, that brand just, for me, just is, it depends. It doesn't sell very quickly. This is a nice piece. It's a two-piece, and it's actually a, a skirt suit, and it's the jacket, and it's a snap front, which I think is cool, and then I really like the skirt on this. It's, um... It's kind of like a or pencil skirt, but it's got like almost a ruffle pleat bottom. And I find some skirt suits can sell. Um, it just depends on the brand. Um, but this is actually a Tahari and it's an Arthur Levine. I usually do not pick that up. But I thought that was a nice enough suit that hopefully that will sell. I don't know how quick. At the store, I checked this because this is an older style cabbie. This is the horizontal tag. The newer style is more of a black. And this has some really nice material um, in it, um, but it's a vest. And it's furry. And um, I went ahead and got that. Um, this I think I just got for a dollar, too. The yellow tags for that day was a dollar. I paid up for some things. Some things um, I got for just a dollar. And... This is a new with tags, and that's the only reason I got it, because Express is hard to move, even sometimes new with tags, at least for me. But this is a black dress. It has the puff sleeve. Now, I do not know if that'll be popular this year. It was last year, but for this new you know, season coming up, I do not know. But it is new with tags, Express, and it's not real tiny either. Oh, I guess it is tiny. It's just a bigger style look um it is a small hmm. okay 
Now to the two pieces that were really, really great. This is a skirt, and I hardly, you know, pick up skirts very often, but I did just sell a J. Crew one, but, the, but it was a maxi skirt. The maxi skirts I've been looking at, but this is a brand new soft surroundings. It was $180 is the manufacturer retail price. It's a maxi. It's very pretty. It actually has floral and paisley, but it's got like that sparkly thread kind of running through it too but it's a maxi and i'll have to do comps on that but i was really happy to find that piece especially new with tags i have found a few new with tags soft surroundings and i had to dress that sole for quite a bit i don't remember for sure now but it was either 99 or 125 dollars um it's sold for this other piece i was happy to get because i don't find the brand that often this isn't the most popular style but um it's a johnny was and uh, this is just more of like a t-shirt, but it is embroidered. And this is the JW. This is the JW Los Angeles. There's also the, I think, JW Workshop. That, and that's, but this is Johnny Was. The ones that are going to be more popular is going to be more of maybe either a button up with a lot of embroidery or maybe even like a peasant top with a lot of embroidery. I don't know on this. I'll have to do comps, but I was happy because I hardly ever find Johnny Was. You know, it was a great piece to get. And um, I had a couple other miscellaneous items, um, but I've been trying to mix, you know, the going more with a quicker sell through rate but then you still have to have some of the bread and butter because it's a lot about volume on how much you list every day and um anyways if you'd like you can subscribe i got a lot of other videos up and if you could push the thumbs up button i'd greatly appreciate that and if you'd like you can leave a comment many prosperous sales to you thank you